start crying now. I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying my best not to cry, yeah? But these people, man, make me cry. Yeah, all this, yeah. everything here is what's going yeah. tomorrow. And on the floor. Freedom Pass. See, you see the handbag? The uh, sewing machine. <laughs> oh the handbag. God. This is the most devastating time in my life. I thought when I lost my son, I could never feel this way again. But this, in a different way, is even worse. This is the woman that bought me here. This is the woman that I've known for 55 years of my life. Nothing compares. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, Mama, but I love you so much. From your son. This is a film that started with a funeral. Morning, morning, Hi, morning. morning. Hi, Pat. Morning. The funeral of Pauline Celestine Martin, ladies, whose favourite colour was red. Amazing. She'd come from Jamaica in 1962 and died here in South London, leaving her grandchildren and children behind her. Her eldest son, Steve, also known as Blacker, was someone I met when I made my first student documentary, when we were both 18. Morning. Hello, Molly. Hello. Good darling, Miss Molly. Good morning. How are you this morning? All right. He'd asked me to come and film his mother's funeral, but what neither of us realised then was that a series of dramatic events would keep me filming with Black Eye for the next three years of his life. The cortege travelled past significant places in the family's life. The final one being Blacker's iconic record shop he'd had in Cold Harbour Lane in Brixton for over 20 years. Blacker's mother had been a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, and had left behind a vast family who clearly loved her, as did the community. Over 700 people turned out to pay their respects, led from the front by Blacker's sisters and brother. Relatives had even come from the family home, Sir Thomas Jamaica, to pay their respects. Well, as you let us sunset and across all the sea, I know the sun will be white for you. Yeah. 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 For three and a half hours, the family sang, performed, and remembered. But it was a story told by a local pastor in his tribute that made me realize what had been happening to this community and how influential a figure Blacker had become. And the reason I'm here today because Stephen, known as Blackout, he's been a great inspiration to me in my life. 
and I'd do anything for him. We don't talk a lot, but there's one thing that he did to, for me when I just came out of jail. And those of you who know John Wayne, the policeman, he had this thing for me, and I was a license, and I got nicked. And black I hold onto my hand when all the police were looking at me, trying to grab me and put me in the van. And black and said, "You're not. You can't take him." They couldn't touch me. I'm saying this to say that. Where did he get that courage from? Where did he get this conviction from? It was from his mother. And I want to say to all the Martin families that are here, please hear these words. Do not look at yourself as someone that's of insignificance. Know who you are. You are leaders in this community. May you walk in peace and unity with each other. May you walk through your community with your head lifted. Oh, yeah.